everyone and today I will tell you about universities in the United States that provide full funding to their PhD students. It means that if you get in, you don't have to pay for your education. Moreover, you also receive a monthly stipend. My name is Nika, your go-to guy for free education. I lead this YouTube channel with my twin sister Milena and together we tell you secrets about scholarships and grants available to everyone to everyone to study in the United States or Europe. So hit that subscribe button and stop paying for your education. So everyone knows that education in the United States is very, very expensive. However, even American students do not realize that there are so many universities here that are ready to help you with a lot of financial aid, even if you are an international student as I am. And today I will share with you a list of universities that award full scholarships to all admitted PhD students, even international students. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're American or if you are from Russia or from countries in Europe or from countries in Africa, it doesn't matter. They award scholarships to everyone who is admitted to their programs. But you have to watch this video till the end. You know why? Because by just Googling the university, you're not gonna find out anything about the funding. Some universities offer only funding in a particular programs. For example, PhD in computer science at a certain university offer full funding, but PhD degrees in some other department do not offer full funding, right? So today I will tell you not only about universities, but also their particular departments and programs that offer this funding. So the first university is Binghamton University, and I hope I pronounce it correctly. All students admitted to their interdisciplinary management PhD program receive full funding. This funding includes full tuition scholarship and research or teaching assistantship for up to four academic years. So not only you don't have to pay tuition, but you also receive a monthly stipend because you work as a graduate assistant. So if you want to apply to this PhD program, there are several areas where you can specialize. These areas are finance, leadership and organizational science, management information systems, marketing, supply chain and business analytics. I think all of those specializations are really relevant to today's world and this PhD program might be of a great interest to a lot of people. So if you do have background in economics or marketing or management, feel free to apply to this program. Moreover, it's important to state that all of those disciplines are classified as STEM. So as an international student, you can have an extended OPT. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to Google it because it's very, very important. And the link to the university website you can find in the description down below. And the second university on my list is American University in Washington, DC. American University awards Dean Fellowship to everyone who is admitted to their International Relations PhD program. This fellowship provides full tuition remission plus a stipend that also requires you to work as a research or teaching assistant up to 20 hours a week. And I would say that this applicable to almost all of those programs, you have to work as a graduate assistant to receive a stipend. However, this university offers a lot of additional financial assistance, such as funding for summer research, uh, funding for different conferences and trip that help your research, and many other things that you will need as a uh, PhD student. Then we have Georgetown University. So Department of Computer Science of Georgetown University offers financial aid for up to five years of studies in their program. This offer covers the cost of tuition, health insurance, and obviously requires you to work up to 20 hours per week as a uh, graduate assistant and in return you also receive a stipend. All these requirements are kind of similar between all the universities, so if you do want to choose the best financial option for you, you should check the stipend that each of these universities offer. One university can have a stipend of $2,000 per month, the other university can have, a, can have a stipend of $1,000 a month, right? So depending on where university is located, right, how expensive it is to live there, and other factors, you might choose what program fits you the best, right? also depending on your financial circumstances. Going back to Georgetown University, they also provide application fee 
waivers to certain students. So if you do want to apply to this university, make sure that you ask about application fee, because if you are applying to many universities, those application fees might be end up being a little bit too expensive. So you always want to ask if university gives some application fee waivers to their students or not. Now let's talk about University of Iowa and their College of Business offers PhD degrees in the fields such as economics, marketing, uh, business analytics, and accounting. And the college says that they provide full financial aid to basically all admitted students. This includes remission of tuition and fees, a monthly stipend, and a comprehensive uh, house insurance coverage. And house insurance is very important in the United States, so whenever you're looking at different offers for PhD programs, make sure that they also cover your house insurance, or at least part of your house insurance. Some departments also offer additional funding for your you know, summer research and uh, conferences and presentation on conferences, things like that. In the United States, if you do present at a conference very often, you still have to pay. So uh, this university over also helps you to cover these costs. And the link to the university you can find in the description down below. And the last university for today is the University of Wisconsin. School of Education at Wisconsin University claims that they offer full funding to every admitted PhD student in the School of Education, but they also say that the funding might depend on your career goals, the department where you apply, on the programs that you decide to pursue, and things like that. So before you apply, right, make sure that you know that your department is going to cover uh, and give you full financial aid, right? Make sure that you know the amount of the stipend awarded on a monthly basis, make sure you know everything uh, that is included in this financial uh, package. Because there are a lot of universities out there, I just mentioned, I think, five universities, but there are way more that can offer a lot of support to their PhD students. So make sure you do your research and you choose the best possible option. If you have a lot of ideas on research and you really want to get your PhD in a certain area, I'm pretty sure you're going to be a great student. So make sure that you apply to best universities possible that can provide you the best funding possible. And obviously, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video.